This is your entire upper trapezius. This area between your neck and shoulder is where you feel the most pain and tightness in your upper trapezius. I've been a professional massage therapist for 29 years, and for 15 of those years, I taught kinesiology. In the last 23 years, I have not stretched or released the upper trapezius with deep tissue massage. And the reason I haven't done that is I don't have to assume that the upper trapezius is tight. Instead, I can confirm that it's not tight and instead it's underperforming. So I don't have to know you to know that when you get a deep tissue massage from a professional that you only get relief for that day and then the next day you're back to scratching the same itch. Well why is that? Well the reason is is you are addressing a muscle, the upper trapezius in this case, that isn't tight Instead, it's underperforming. So you're assuming it's tight, the practitioner's assuming it's tight, and all the while, it's actually underperforming. So what does that mean? Well, it means that you, the muscle, the upper trapezius, cannot perform its role to the best of its ability, and it presents as feeling tight, but tightness is just a sensation. So if you want to address the upper trapezius in a way that allows it to function to the best of its ability and take this information that you see in this video and share it with your massage therapist and I guarantee without addressing the muscles if it's tight or the area where you feel it's tight which is the belly of the muscle you're going to find that you no longer have to deal with that tightness that you constantly feel between your neck and shoulders. Now, if you do take this to your massage therapist and they do follow through and they address the muscle in the way that I'm demonstrating in this video, don't have them do anything else. Meaning don't have them mash into the area where you feel the tightness. None of the things that would address tightness, stretching, elbows, whatever it is that addresses tightness, don't do that. Just do what I'm showing you in this video for your entire upper trapezius. And I promise you, you will no longer have to deal with the tightness that you constantly feel between your neck and shoulder. So the first thing I want to show you is where the upper trapezius attaches to the cranium. The first thing I would do or will do is I will address the EOP. So. The EOP is right here. If you're not familiar with it, it's a bump on the occipital bone. The technical way of saying it would be the external occipital protuberance. So once I found that EOP, I'm going to compress the tissue of the upper trapezius into that. And if you can imagine that my the tip of my finger is a sharpie I'm just going to draw or write a plus symbol there with that transverse friction massage stroke. So the nuchal ligament or ligamentum nuche attaches to the EOP and then the upper trapezius you can follow it up a little bit and then ultimately come across here. So you can see these lines here, and this is representing the upper trapezius, the higher of the two red marks there. So now what you can see in the frame is the nuchal ligament. So I'm trying to represent the nuchal ligament here, or ligamentum nuche, where it's attaching to that EOP, and also the spinous process of C7. That's about the thickness of the nuchal ligament and the upper trapezius would attach all along that ligament. So if I'm addressing that nuchal ligament where the upper trapezius attaches, I'll come in at a 45 degree angle to address that upper trapezius as it attaches to that ligament. Of course, I'm going to compress that tissue 
into the nuchal ligament or ligament of nuche, and then I'm going to apply that transverse friction massage stroke all the way down to the, the spinous process of C7. So that nuchal ligament or ligament of nuche is going to come down and it's going to come right into the superior aspect of the spinous process C7. So I'm going to compress that tissue right into the lateral aspect or the tip of the spinous process C7. And then I'm going to basically write a plus sign with my finger compressing that tissue, maintaining that compression, and then applying that friction massage stroke. So before I address the upper trapezius on her, I first wanted to show you how I am going to address that tissue on the skeleton. So the skeleton's lying on its back, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to address the scapula. So to do that, I am going to address this entire area through here, and you can see that blue paint that's on the medial side of the spine of the scapula. That's where I want to be when I'm addressing her upper trapezius or the attachments of her upper trapezius. So you have the lateral aspect of the spine of the scapula, the superior aspect of the spine of the scapula, and then the medial surface of the spine of the scapula. And that's where I want to be when I address the upper trapezius. Okay, so I'm going to work on her scapula now. So I'm going to address the upper trapezius as it comes into the spine of the scapula. And you can see here, I like to hold the left arm because I, I feel that that helps to keep that scapula from moving underneath my finger to a certain extent. So you can see my finger here, I'm on the superior aspect of the spine of the scapula. And I'm going to compress that tissue into the spine of the scapula. And then again, maintain that compression and perform that transverse friction massage stroke here. And right now I'm below the clavicle. And ultimately I'll work my way up to the clavicle staying on the superior aspect of the spine of the scapula. So right up against my finger here is the posterior surface of her clavicle. And I'm going to come right up to that. I can feel the posterior aspect of her clavicle up against my finger. My force is down towards her left hip compressing the tissue of the upper trapezius into the spine of the scapula, drawing that plus symbol, maintaining that compression, getting that friction. Okay, now I'm going to come down a little bit and work back here. And then I'll work my way back towards the clavicle. So after I address the scapula, I'm going to address the clavicle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the lateral aspect of the clavicle. And of course, we know that that is where the clavicle meets the acromion. And that is the acromioclavicular joint or AC joint. So I'm going to push up underneath the clavicle, which is the posterior surface of the clavicle, but I'm going to work my way across to approximately here. The other thing I will say here is on the lateral side of my finger, I'm right up against the clavicle, right? So then I can just transition to this finger being that this finger's a little tired now. And I'm going to push right up into the back of the clavicle there. 
and that's a nice angle to get into the posterior aspect or posterior surface of the clavicle but I kind of I like this where I can curl around and, and get some pressure up into that clavicle okay so that's something to think about and again I elevated the clavicle a little bit um, that helps a little bit and then you can see I think you can see here how I'm holding the arm and then I like to get a little medial rotation of that arm I find that that helps a little bit as well so you can see here that her humerus is internally rotating or medially rotating the scapula is elevated a little bit and that's also going to elevate the clavicle and it shortens the tissue of the upper trapezius so that I can get into that spine of the scapula a little bit better a little deeper a little bit more specific now uh, earlier I had mentioned that I like to address the tissue when it's on more of a stretch there are cases where you have to give up a little bit to get more and what I mean by that is you can see how her head is tipped a little bit in the frontal plane so if you don't know what that means like her right ear is a little closer to her right shoulder so I have the, a little bit of stretch of the tissue with the head neck and then I can kind of I can manipulate this a little bit to try to get in there and be a little bit more specific um, with the clavicle.